Hi, my name is Laura Navarette. I'm a wildlife biologist with the Forest Service, and I'm going to be talking about woodpecker surveys today. Over the past 100 years or so, we have suppressed fire, and for a time period we were harvesting a lot of the largest trees on the landscape. And what that resulted in is a lot of small trees. And many species don't like these types of habitat conditions. The white-headed woodpecker is one of those species that needs large trees with open canopy conditions. And so now when we are designing our management projects where we harvest specific trees and we return fire to the landscape, we try and keep species like the white-headed woodpecker in mind. So we've designed some specific surveys for the white-headed woodpecker to see if our management activities are actually increasing habitat for it. And what we've designed is what's called a Bakke design, a before, after, control, and impact. So we've designed survey transects within our project area, which is the impact, and outside the project area, which is the control, where we're not going to do any activity. And we are going to survey those areas before the treatment and after. And right now, what we're doing is the before surveys. This is the type of equipment that I take out into the field with me a lot of times. You absolutely need your binoculars in order to see far away things, birds and other animals. This is the collar that I use to call for woodpeckers or goshawks or owls. I usually take my radio in case I run into any trouble. This is called a kestrel. It's a weather meter. GPS so I can navigate around the landscape. My notebook so that I can record any of my observations. A first aid kit and of course my backpack to put everything in plus some snacks. This tapadat looks a lot better for white-headed woodpeckers, and we're going to be doing a call point in here. One of the uh, most common ways of surveying for specific bird species is using an audio collar. We use these for goshawks and owls and woodpeckers. And what we do is play their call and their drumming sounds and then stop and look and listen to see if any woodpeckers have responded. So I'm going to start up the collar now and my assistant Finn is going to hold it up over his head. And then we stop and we look and we listen and we write down everything that we observe. And we got a response from a woodpecker in this stand. Larger trees, much more open canopy cover. Yay!